Okay, so we've uh, been thinking about this system that we have up here, uh, and so we found out that this matrix of coefficients has eigenvalues of 7 and minus 1, and 7 has an eigenvector of 1, 2, and minus 1 has a possible eigenvector of 1, minus 2 thirds. And um, now we saw that we can give solutions in vector form using the following formula. So for us, um, we would have that I can take this um, system and write the solution x, y as some constant c1 times eigenvector 1, which is 1, 2, e, and then the eigenvalue here was minus 7. And then I can add to that the second arbitrary constant c2 times another the other eigenvector, which was 1 minus 2 thirds, and that's all e uh, to the minus 1 t. So in other words, e to the minus t. Um, and just so you're clear, like this is the same thing that we would get if I just said this is c1 e to the 7t plus c2 e to the minus t, and the solution for y is therefore 2 c1 e to the 7t um, minus two-thirds c2 e to the minus t. So this is how we have been writing out our solutions, um, but it's consistent with what we get when we write this out in vector form. And so um, lastly, this asked us to sketch a approximate phase plane, um, some solutions in the phase plane. So what I can see is that these two vectors are going to be very special. So for example, if I start off um, thinking about this one, first of all, at the point 1, 2, so maybe here's 1 and here's 2, um, this tells me that if any point, if I start off at this point, I'm going to stay um, on that line through the origin. So um, here I get a whole set of solutions that satisfy um, y is that stay on the line y is equal to 2x. And because that eigenvalue was 7 is positive, I know that these solutions are going to head away. So I'm just going to put some arrows here that say those move away from the origin. And then for this eigenvector of 1 uh, minus 2 thirds, So this is corresponding to the line y is equal to minus two-thirds x. We know that that's also a special solution. Um, if I start with an initial condition on this line, we're going to stay on that line. And since this had a negative eigenvalue, um, this one heads in like so. And um, the origin over here is in equilibrium. And since um, there are some directions that head straight into it, and there are some directions that head away from the origin, we would say that this is a semi-stable equilibrium. Okay, this is also sometimes called a saddle point. And if I want to think about, well, what do other solutions, other possible solutions look like, if I started, say, over here at this point in green, we can see how these solutions are going to go. And if I start um, over here at some point in yellow over here, I can see this one is going to head like this. So these um, eigenvectors kind of tell us pretty much how all of the rest of the solutions are going to behave um, nearby. And so again, um, feel free to play around with that applet in GeoGebra, enter in this system, and verify that the solutions are actually in the phase plane look like um, the graph that I drew over here.